Let's have a look at a third example of how to form and solve linear equations. Here's our example. One side of a triangle is 5 centimetres shorter than the at base. The other side is 1 centimetre shorter than the base and the perimeter of the triangle is 39 centimetres. Write an equation and use it to find the dimensions of the triangle. Okay, so remember our first step is always writing down um, not writing down, defining our variable. Um, before I do that though, I am going to just look through and find some information. So we know one side of the triangle is 5 centimetres shorter than the base. Another side is 1 centimetre shorter than the base. And our perimeter is 39 centimetres. Okay, so I'm, in order to work this out, I'm going to just draw myself a little diagram. Okay, so I've got a triangle with three sides. One of those is going to be the base. Now one side of the triangle is five centimetres shorter. Okay, shorter meaning subtract. The other side is one centimetre shorter. So again, subtract. Perimeter... So if I remember about the perimeter, means I need to find to add all the sides together. Okay. So when you look at what I've drawn with the diagram there, I've put the base on there and I've called it B. So that needs to be my variable. So I'm going to say um, B equals the length of the base of the triangle and that's going to be measured in centimeters okay our second step is to write down the equation so let's think about this well I've got the sides I've got the, some a formula for the sides of each of the triangles and I know that the perimeter has to add up to 39. So perimeter means I've got to add all the sides. So I'm going to add my B take away 5 side plus my B take away 1 side plus my B. And that has to all add up to 39 centimetres. So there's my equation. So let's write an equation. Our third step, remember, is to um, solve. So when I come to solve this, I'm going to have, let me just write that out again, P equals B take away 5 plus B take away 1 plus B, and that adds up to 39. Okay, so I'm going to ignore my perimeter at the start. That just helped me get going and come up with the formula. So I've got... B minus 5 plus B minus 1 plus B equals 39. I've just dropped off the bracket symbols. All right. Now let's combine that together. So like terms. B plus B plus B. That's going to give me 3B. I've got then minus 5 minus 1. So that's minus 6 equals 39. Okay. Now I want to put all the numbers on one side. So I'm going to leave my 3b where it is. I'm going to leave my 39 where it is. And I'm going to take that minus 6 to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to move that across. And it's going to become plus 6. So now I'm going to get 3b equals 39 plus 6, which is 45. What I need to do now is I'm nearly there. I've just got to get rid of that 3 in front of the B, so I've got the B by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3, um, and that means that these 3s will cancel out to leave me with B equals 15. Okay, the last thing I need to do, step 4, is to write the answer. So let's think about what we've just found, and I'm going to go back to my definition. B is the length of the base of the triangle. Okay, so I know that the base of 
the triangle um, is 15 centimeters long. Okay, but the question, if I go back to the question, the question says find the dimensions of the triangle. Yeah, so when I talk about dimensions, we need to know how long each of the three sides are. So I know one side is 15 centimeters. The second side there is 15 minus 5, so that's going to be 10 centimeters. And on this side, 15 minus 1, that side's going to be 14 centimeters. So that's the other part of my answer that I need to write up. So the base is 15 centimeters long, one side is 10 centimeters and the other is 14 centimeters and there's our answer